Now I'm adding some chai seeds, some hemp seeds, and some flax seeds. Just about a tablespoon. I also put harataki powder in my smoothies. This opens your uh, third eye. Be thankful for two hands, you guys, because it is no joke trying to do stuff with one hand. So another thing I like to do with my smoothies is sometimes put tofu in it. Just straight up. You don't taste it. You, you know, I don't know if you guys ever ate a lot of tofu, but you don't taste it. You can make it taste like anything. Just put that right in there. You're not going to taste it. I'm still putting like avocado, everything, the fruit, the veggies, sea moss. I made some sea moss this morning. I already soaked it. You don't need a lot because you're doing, like I said, I have about four of these. So I just add a little bit at a time. That's probably enough right there. The rest I will put in the next smoothie. And I add some um, plant-based protein powder. It's just peas. And you, you just need a little bit because like I said, it's already... And a little more water. I got this smoothie off of, um, this portable smoothie, a uh, chargeable smoothie thing off of Amazon. I just do this to help it blend because it's a small container. You also shake it, turn it upside down, turn it sideways. And I do this until I see most of it blended up. And I'm really checking for the flax seeds because those are what you want to make sure they're blended. I'll probably do a little more. pretty good look at that nice and blended creamy and then and then i drink cheers healthy can't taste any of the sea moss you can't taste the um, sprouts you can't taste honestly i'm just tasting banana with a little bit of green but I can't identify what the green is and just the fruit for real. Mmm.